Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my video. I'm sorry if I sometimes get out of Zoom or something. My camera doesn't want to connect with my computer so I can't see myself on the computer so I can see if I'm blurry or not. So I hope everything looks good. I need to film this video. I have a ton of makeup in front of me. And today we are here to review this beautiful palette. This is Neon Orange Huda Beauty Obsession palette. Let uh, I'm going to use this on my eyes today. If you're interested, so if you see want to see what two makeups look I'm going to create with this palette, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I tried to zoom you in a little bit. On my face, I do have the Beauty Blender foundation. I also have the Huda, the Huda Beauty concealer. I do have the LA Girl or yeah, LA Girl eyebrow product. Uh, I also have this beautiful Tantor from Huda Beauty. I love this. This is my obsession. On my lips, I do have the what it's called, the MAC lip liner in strip down. On top of that, I do have this lipstick. Where is it? Then over that, I do have Kaya Cosmetics liquid lipstick in uh, my Darling. Uh, I also have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, but I did went over it with the Huda Beauty concealer, which made it a little bit uneven, but we'll hope I hope it will work. And also, what do I have more on my face? Yes, I did set everything with this beautiful powder from NGC. This is um, Nikki Joy Cosmetics, uh, Nikki Joy's setting powder. And uh, I think that was it. No, I also have a mixture of these two beautiful palettes on my face. So that is what I have. And let's start with the swatches. I'm going to do like this, watch this. I'm very excited to try this one. I mean, the swatches won't tell you everything. I, I hope you know these colors work better on uh, if you have white base on the eye because these are, these are the neons. So let's see. I mean, I feel like this shimmery, the same thing as the same thing was with this green neon palette that these shimmery look more like toppers than um, shimmer eyeshadow. They don't have that uh, pigmentation under it as a base, if you understand what I mean. Oh, this yellow is very pigmented. That's nice. That's nice. It looks nice. Oh, I'm very excited. So I'm going to create a more orangey look and more pinky look. So let's start. I'm going to see if you just enough zoomed in and not blurry. I hope this will work even if my camera doesn't want to work with me today. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Morphe brush number five and go into, I want to go in this yellow shade. Do I? Yes, I do. And take it above my crease. It's very pigmented, even if I go with a, a, a fluffy brush. It's blending nice on top of the powder. I did set it a little bit because I was trying to fix my camera to connect with my uh, computer so I can see myself uh, sharp but it didn't work so it took some time to it does look a little bit dry that's not that shadow that's the powder but it looks very nice so i hope you'll see me well, i hope this video will be nice even if i can't get the whole picture so i seem looking at myself in camera i mean i really like this shade i think it's beautiful i'm going to clean that brush again and i want to go in this more uh, orangey shade, this one. That's a, a lot of pigment comes on the brush. And place it in the crease. I'm going to open my eyes so I can see that I really blend it a little bit above my crease because I have hooded eyes and I want this color to be shown, to be seen when I open my eyes. Ooh, 
like a sunset. I like this. So far, I feel like this palette, it's, it's more pigmented than the other green one. I know I just used this and just started using this, this orange one, but it, that's my first impression that it's more pigmented and more easy to work but don't forget some of the shades are pressed pigment and I think there are more pig pressed pig pigments in the green one I can't really see which one is pressed pigment but I think you can find that information if it's something that it's important to you I do want to try to build up that orange shade so I'm going to take a very small brush this is Zoeva uh, 200, 230 and go into that same orangey shade that we had in the crease and kind of blend it up on the edge. You know, can you see how different it is when you don't blend it with the yellow? It's more true orange. I like this one. I'm going to go slightly in this and just build it up on the edge to dock it up a little bit. This one is more that um, pinky orange. Oh, it's so nice. I mean, they blend very, very nice. Going back with this brush and just blend everything. I'm not going to add more color. I'm going to work with what I have. Then I absolutely, absolutely want to cut the crease. So I'm going to do that with the Huda Beauty um, concealer. And I did went upstairs to look for it because I wanted to use it in this video because in the last video when I reviewed the green one I did use Jeffree Stars but it wasn't light enough and I feel like this one does have a little bit more coverage than the Jeffree Stars one. Okay, it's not even but I don't care. We're going to go in a, take a flat brush and my favorite brush for applying the shimmer shades is the Linda Halber and it's 305 and I'm going to go into this orange shade and it looks more like a topper and I think I'm going to need, use a, need to use a finger but let's try it with the brush. Yeah, absolutely needs a finger. So let's take the pinky. And this is a beautiful shade, I love it. So this is the problem. I did cut the crease, but I can't make it sharp. So I'm going to wet the brush a little bit to apply it on the edges. So. This is a beautiful shade. I think I like this one more than the green one. I mean, it's more suitable for my eyes and uh, my taste. I'm going to go into this brush from a brand. I don't know what kind of brush this is. I forgot. But I'm going to go back into this orange shade and just kind of blend it here. I'm going to clean this brush and take it and use this color in the center, the light orange, and blend it under the eyelash, low lash line. And then I'm going to take this brush again and go into that darker, this shade under low lash line but not bring it the whole way just connect here 
Then I'm going to clean this brush because I want to use it again and I don't want this orange shade on it. I want to use the yellow one, this yellow. And so we take this sparkly yellow shade. That works. That's nice. And I'm going to take this yellow shade here and kind of this yellow is very pigmented. So I'm going to take some mascara. I'm not going to put some eyelashes on because I'm going to remove this and create another makeup look. And I want to try two new mascaras on an, in another video, so I don't want to have a lot of eye glue on my eyelashes, which I ha already have because of the last video I did with the green color, where is the mascara? So this is the final look with this palette. I just dig my fingers into this yellow shade. That's how clumsy I am. But I really, really, really like this makeup look. I think it goes well with my brown eyes. I know my hair is messy, but don't care about it. Uh, I think it looks beautiful. Uh, doesn't go with this lipstick, but who cares? I mean, I really, really like this makeup look. I don't want to take it off, but I do want to create another makeup look with this palette. So the only reason is why I'm going to take it off because I can't wait. I really want this video to come now out on my channel now on Monday and it's Sunday and I'm going to try new mascaras from Kaya Cosmetics. They look, oh my God, they really look good. So that is coming up, but I do want to kind of make another makeup look. So I'm going to take it off, but I'm definitely going to recreate it because it looks stunning, really looks stunning. This is my favorite. So if you're going to kind of choose between these two, I will definitely go with this orangey one because, oh my God, it's everything, it's everything. So if you're interested, let's go to the look number two. Okay guys, so I'm back. I just removed my makeup and the mascara. I removed my eye makeup and the mascara and I tried to, because I got some mascara on my lower lash line and I had my makeup on, I tried to remove it and apply new concealer and a little bit powder. So it does look a little bit heavy under my eyes. I don't care about that. I want to review two mascaras, so that is why, why I took the mascara off. So let's go in and create another makeup look. So right now I'm going to go and use uh, this Ofra, Ofra 21 and go into uh, this pinky shade, this one. I want to take that one and go into the crease and then, oh, oh, Oh God, that's, that's pigmented, um, that's pigmented. I think this is um, pressed pigment and it means it's going to be harder to blend. So I'm going to kind of take it right in the crease and blend it upwards. Apply it on the crease. This brush is nice, but it's a little bit, um, how to say, scratchy. But I like how it applies eyeshadows. So and it means it's definitely going to maybe um, how to say stain my eyes, but I don't care. I never care when eyeshadows stain my eyes. Just apply new eyeshadow on top, eyeshadow primer, and I'm fine. I mean, this is stunning and it's blending nice. It's really blending nice. So when you try to blend the eyeshadow into the crease, if you have hooded eyes as I do, you have to look forward and try to blend it and make a new crease. You, you see here when I have this fold, that's my crease. Otherwise, if I go like this, like I did before, and just apply it, it would cover every, cover everything. And my eyes are hooded, but they are not hooded the same. If you see, this one is more hooded than this one. So my makeup almost never looked the same. Um, 
and I'm still fingering it out, but so I cleaned this brush as much as I could, this Ueva brush that I used before, uh, and I'm going to use this color to dark it up a little bit, the edge, and it picks a lot of pigment. I think this is also pressed pigment. Oh my god, this is stunning. I'm very pigmented. I'm going to take the one that we use for the crease and kind of blend the edges a little bit. And we are going to cut the crease with Huda Beauty concealer. And I know I create almost the same makeup looks like I did uh, the, this one and the last one was is almost the same, but I just use that kind of, these kind of makeup looks all the time. So I'm sorry that you're not going to get two totally different makeup looks that both of them are cut the cre uh, cut crease, but I hope you don't mind. I mean, it's different colors. Okay, it's not perfect, but who is? Who is perfect? Nobody's perfect. Okay, I'm going to go and try to take this shimmery shade, the pink shade, with the brush. I probably should use my fingers like we did the last in the last makeup look. But we are going to take this Linda Halbert and take this shade all over the lid where we put the concealer. And I don't know. You will see the fallout. Oh, it's not picking up. Nope, we need to use the fingers. You need to press and pull on, on the eyelid so you get the pigmentation on, but it's stunning shade. Kind of disappointed in this shade. It looks stunning on the eyelid and I'll definitely use it, but it's so hard pressed and I feel like you need to dig in it to get it and it gets crumbly and it looks like a more like a topper so you so I do need to build it up but it's stunning on the eyes so you need to work hard hard for this eyeshadow but it does look beautiful so so I'm going to go back in this dark purple shade I want the purple shade in here and blend the edge I want to go in with this dark purple all under the lower lash line. And then I'm going to clean this and go into uh, this shade in the center. So guys, this is the final, final, final second look with this um, palette. I really like both of them. I like the first one. I like the second one. I think they're both su summery. I love all of the shades. I think they are very nice. The two I find hard to work with, or three shades that I find hard to work with is the shimmery, shimmery ones. I feel like the yellow one is a little bit 
easier. No, I think this one is a little bit easier to work with, but this one is beautiful. But you do need to, you do need to dig in there and cut it. It's very hard pressed. Feels like it's now even more pressed as I go in there and try to. I mean, it's you do get the pigmentation, but you do need to use a lot of it and really press press on your eyelid and pull uh, if you want to get that in this kind of pigmentation but i really really like how it looks on my eyes and i if i'm going to choose between these two i think this one is more suitable for me so i like this one a little bit more this one is also beautiful uh, i'm going to put the card up here for review of that palette but so far i'm liking this one a little bit more i do have this pink too that i'm very excited i like pinks so i'm going to review this one in another video but right now uh, on my eyes i do have two new mascaras that i'm reviewing it's kaya cosmetics uh, two different mascaras one is on one eye and the other one is on the other eye i hope it's not a big difference but if you see that's the reason why my eyelashes look different and why i don't have falsies today but I really like this palette. I think it's a beautiful palette. I feel like it's harder to work with the shimmery shades than it is with the mattes. Mattes are beautiful. Uh, the shimmeries, shimmery shades do have a fallout, so you do need a little bit of a sticky base to kind of to kind of make uh, make it work. But I do like it, and I'm definitely going to use it. It's worth the money. Uh, not the best formula for the shimmery shades but it's it's nice i can make it work so guys that was everything i hope you like this video please let me know down below which one of the makeup look makeup looks you like more and i hope you'll subscribe and support me and hit that notification bell and like the button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and i hope i see you in my next video i love you all bye